Hi everybody, it's Donna with Donna Deals and DIYs. Happy Saturday. Today's devotional release, 90 Days to Embrace God's Plan for Your Life by Bridget Reed. We're going to start out with a scripture. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. And they will walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. Okay. Let's start this out. This says confidence or pride. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. This will be healing for your body and strengthening for your bones. Proverbs 3, 7 through 8 in the CSB version. In today's verse, God is saying not to think too highly of yourself or be impressed with your wisdom. And then the healing process for your body will begin, giving strength to your bones. Stress has significantly proven to determine our physical and mental health. I have learned that many people get pride and confidence mixed up. They believe that speaking highly of themselves and putting themselves on a pedestal is having confidence when it really only reveals a prideful heart. However, God is instructing us to humble ourselves by putting our confidence in Him. And when we do this, our humility gives space for the glory of God to be revealed over and over in our lives. When our ego fills the room, where does God's glory reside? Fearing the Lord means to be in reverent awe of His holiness and to honor him as the God of great glory, majesty, purity, and power. Our confidence is in his ability to do great things through us. Our confidence comes from knowing where our help comes from. We lean on, rely on, and trust in God in every area of our lives. That confidence at the core comes from ability, not our own ability, but the very essence, direction, and guidance of God. And our prayer today is, Father, I release all pride out of my heart, soul, and mind. Surrender this area to you. Even when I have good intentions, show me, show me myself and any pride that I'm walking in, and then change me, God. Teach me your way so I can fear you and turn away from any and all evil. In Jesus' name, amen. Then I appreciate you listening today. That was kind of a little short one, even with the extra scripture that they put in there. Um, and that was page 454 for those of you who have been keeping up with it. And I'll be back tomorrow with another devotional, which will be Sunday, the Lord's Day. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I'm going to make sure I turn the page. Sometimes I forget. So that when I read it tomorrow, it'll be on the next page. Uh, sometimes I forget to tell you guys to have a wonderful weekend. And have a happy Saturday. I have to go to a graduation today. One of my friend's granddaughter is graduating from high school. So I get it. I'm excited that I get to go see that. Um, she's a beautiful young lady. I'm so excited for her future. And... Um, I, um, it's a Memorial Day weekend too, so Monday's Memorial Day. So y'all have a safe Memorial Day. Have fun. Take care of yourselves. And uh, if you have any prayer requests, please send them to me at platware at yahoo.com. That's P-L-A-T-T-W-E-A-R at yahoo.com. Or you can put it in the um, comments below. Please remember to give me a thumbs up and share my video. And remember that God loves you. I love you. And God bless you. Bye-bye.